So my name is Jamie McCormack. I'm in my second year, last year, of recreation and leisure. My hometown is Bolton, Ontario, and I'm on the Seneca Sting team for golf. And yeah. So I, the way I got into this sport of golf was um, just around the house. I was around the age from two to four. My dad would always have golf club toys, so plastic golf clubs. <laughs> He'd always be giving me it to hold my hand and just I would hit a big, bigger ball than a golf ball, but I mean, it's a way to practice and that's just how I started to love the game. And then when I got eventually older from, I'd say six to above, he would take me to the driving range every day and I started to love the game and so on. So I just really started to, I, it, I like to say it came natural to me. I don't know if that sounds rude, but it does. And I just love the game a lot. My first experience with competing was probably a tournament with my dad, again, my dad, he's a big golfer in my family. It was a father and daughter tournament um, at a golf course where I was a member at at the time. And it was very nerve wracking to say the least as it was my first tournament. Um, I didn't really know what to do so if I didn't have my dad there then I probably would have done poorly. But it was a great experience, it was lots of fun and we ended up coming in second place. So for my first tournament it was a really awesome experience. I could say some setbacks or physical obstacles for the sport that I'm in now could be due like the fact that I've had a muscular dystrophy um, problem for since I was born. So I guess the physical aspect of it, but uh, I've gotten over it. So it's really it's good. It's, I'm proud of myself. I guess I can say to say that um, when I was younger, I might not have been able to swing the club as hard as I can now, but I've definitely um, matured my swing and improved a lot. So when I would get really tired due to the physical aspects of my game, I'd really want to give up on the game and say there's no point in doing this because I'm going to be like this all the time, I'm going to be tired all the time, I'm not going to have fun, but I just had to keep like my head on my shoulders and keep up a good game and I did and I eventually got out of that stage of thinking to myself that there was no point in playing because I played because I loved the game and I played because I eventually got better. So. My parents were a big part of influence me, influencing me through the career and the sport. They were always saying, you can do it. They were always being positive rather than negative like I was to myself. They were always taking me into practice, asking me if I needed anything within the sports, anything at all. They were just always there for me. So it was really helpful to have them and without them I probably wouldn't have been able to be where I am today. Some accomplishments that I'm pretty proud of is high school where I was the only girl in my high school ever to make OFSA, which is the Ontario Championships for golf. Um, and I was the only girl who made it there, so that was an awesome experience. It was in Windsor, and it was probably the coldest day I've ever played golf in my life, but it was awesome, it was so much fun. There was so many people, really nervous, but it was amazing. So a few memorable moments I could possibly see was, I've always gone to Hawaii when I was younger, and I've been quite a lot. So we always played on different golf courses in Hawaii and we played on one, we've played a few times called the Challenge at Manila Bay. And um, Bill Gates actually got married on that golf course. So that's a pretty memorable experience to play on that golf course. And throughout my golfing times at any golf course in Hawaii, we actually met a few famous people. So, I mean, that's pretty memorable and I'll always have that in the back of my head.